Welcome to my channel. My name is Danny Walker. I'm a former Miss Montana USA. I've worked behind the scenes as staff for many pageant organizations. I have also judged and currently I am a pageant coach. I work with young women to develop their public speaking skills or confidence or communication, their poise, all of those things that we usually don't learn in our everyday lives or through education. And because of my involvement in pageantry, I wanted to create this episode because I saw a really interesting advertisement during this time when everybody's getting really excited about the Olympics. This advertisement was created by Dick's Sporting Goods, and I have some, some mixed feelings about it. I just saw this ad within the last hour. And the ad is a compilation of all of these really strong, inspiring female athletes, which is amazing, right? Like we see, we see these women that are accomplishing incredible things right now for the Olympics. And that in itself is so inspirational to so many little girls out there and working with young girls who actually aspire to get to the Olympics. This is something that I think is, you know, could potentially be great for them to see. Let me just say though, that what kind of rubs me the wrong way about this advertisement, and we also have to think about it, like it is an advertisement and advertisements that children can see or that are directed towards children or young people can be very influential. They're inundated with it on social media, television, through streaming, anything nowadays. Kids are seeing so many advertisements and what we intake and what we're watching, no matter what you wanna say, in some way it can be influencing us. It can be shaping our thoughts and our ideas about the world, about culture, about ourselves. Before I really get into my points, I want to say the video footage of the women in the commercial was beautiful, very beautifully shot, very beautifully done. But what gets me about it are two things. Number one is that they used the classic, there she is, Miss America, like that song, you guys know that song. If you've watched Miss America, you've probably heard it. If you follow the pageant, there's like the Miss America song. That song is where we also have that little phrase, that quote, there she is. Everybody always kind of says that on social media. You hashtag it all the time. And so they created this commercial with that song. Then the caption that they posted was defying outdated ideals of femininity, setting records, breaking barriers, taking the game by storm, hashtag there she is. To me, and I could be wrong, but also maybe their marketing department didn't really think much about this. But the way that that initially comes across to me is that they're referencing that Miss America, first of all, is a, a, a symbol of femininity through history and that it's outdated in some way. And it just feels like a jab at the Miss America organization and at pageantry. And here's the thing. If you've been subscribed for a while and if you've seen any of my Miss America episodes, you know that I think that that organization could change in the upcoming years. I think that there's room for changes that would greatly benefit the organization and how it is marketed and how it can appeal to young women. That's a whole other thing, okay? That's a whole other issue. But what this implies though to me, I mean, there's so many multiple meanings and I don't wanna get into the definition of femininity because that's not really what I'm discussing here because I believe that femininity, it can be something that is a hot topic. It can be very debated nowadays. And at the end of the day, I think that femininity is, is something that women are going to define for themselves. And that's gonna mean different things for different women. But like I said, that's not what this episode is about. What I'm talking about here in my issue with this advertisement is that there, there's this implication of these outdated, as they have said, outdated ideals of femininity. And I don't believe personally, and this is something that I've really learned from pageants, that, you know, it's kind of that there's a quote and it's all about how you can admire someone else's beauty and it doesn't take away from yours. And in that same way, I think we can admire a woman's femininity and it doesn't take away from yours. You can admire her strength. You can admire her work ethic. You can admire, there's endless things that you can admire about another woman and it doesn't take away from you. So really like the implications, I just feel like 
they're shaming women who are embracing their feminine side or embracing femininity. And I would have loved to have seen this commercial showing these women that are strong and inspiring and these record breakers and they're, they're doing all these incredible things. I would love to have seen that and then also something else from them, right? Whether it's like, I, you know, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a mom, I'm a businesswoman. I, you know, like I would have loved to have seen the different sides of women rather than bashing women who are, what, however you want to call it, however you want to phrase this, but stereotypically feminine, right? And this is the reason that many young women actually compete in pageantry, and I hear this a lot in interviews, is because a lot of women don't feel that we have to be this or that. Because you don't, ladies. You can be both. You can be as feminine as you want to be. You can wear pink and glitter every single day. And guess what? You can also be an Olympic athlete. You can do both. I personally just feel like this advertisement is almost shaming femininity. And there's nothing wrong, I don't believe, with femininity or masculinity, any of those things. And the fact is, is that most people are going to embrace traits or characteristics that could be defined as feminine or masculine, and you'll have both. It won't be an either thing. And so I feel like that is really, like my issue is I'm all about supporting other women, whether they're in pageantry or not. I don't care what industry you're in. I don't care if you're playing sports. I don't care if you're in business. I don't care if you're in education. I just don't care about any of those things. But I think that we need to create this environment of supporting other women regardless of whether or not we get what they're doing. And I feel like a lot of people pass a lot of judgments on women in pageantry or women in sports or whatever. But the fact is, ladies, you can be both. And the clients that I work with do both. I work with incredible young women who are constantly breaking stereotypes, but it's just sad that they feel like they have to and that they have to make a point that they can do both. And I feel like it's because of advertisements like this. Advertisements like this that are putting women in a box. You know what I think is outdated? For anyone, especially a brand, to tell you what femininity is for you. Who are you, Dick Sporting Goods? To say anything to young women in pageantry. Sounds like you haven't met very many of them because if you had, you would know that there are quite a few women in pageantry who have participated in pageants, whether they've been title holders or contestants, who also participate in sports, who are athletes. Yeah, we've had quite a few of them. This idea, I don't know, of this commercial, it really rubs me the wrong way. And I don't really understand that the true intention or the meaning behind it. And, and I also don't, don't really think you know, advertisers may have thought that far into it, like the people that were creating this. I would bet though that the people on this marketing team or that were responsible for creating this commercial probably don't know women in pageants or didn't speak to them about this advertisement beforehand. So essentially though, the reason that I wanted to address this and create this episode is because these videos, these advertisements are things that are influencing young women. And really my message to all the young women that I work with is that you can be both. You don't have to let a brand, you don't have to let your friends, your family, society define what you should or shouldn't do or can or can't do when it comes to your profession, your interests, your talents, your skills, any of those things. And also remember ladies, you can be all about whatever it is that you do. Like you could love weightlifting, which actually I have quite a few clients who are very into weightlifting. So you could really love weightlifting and be all about supporting women in weightlifting and that industry, like that could be your entire thing. But just because you love that one thing, it doesn't ever mean that you have to put down another woman who's interested in something different than you. Because usually the things that we love, that we connect with, are the things that bring us confidence, they bring us joy, they bring us personal growth. And whether you get that from something like a sport or whether you get that from pageantry, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you continue to grow and to develop that mindset. Break those stereotypes, right? Okay, you can do it in sports and you can do it in pageants too. And I think that's something that we have to really 
remember. That's something I want women watching this channel to know is that you don't have to be defined by what brands are saying femininity is. You can define that for yourself and you don't have to feel shamed about your femininity. It's just another part of you. You are complex, you are a person that's multidimensional. Don't let people define what that's supposed to look like for you because you're a woman. So that was my rant on Dick Sporting Goods. I don't know, what do you guys think? I just think that the commercial itself kind of vague and there's different things that you could take away from it. But for me, I just didn't feel really right about it. I think there were other ways that you could have gone about this without using the Miss America song and hashtag. Those are my thoughts. Leave yours in the comment section below and please be respectful to one another. Remember, no one ever died thinking, gosh, I really wish that I would have argued with more people online. Yeah, no one. <laughs> so be nice to one another. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you're subscribed and remember to hit that notification so you can join me for a lot of new episodes. I'll see you soon.